Hey lovely people of the internet, I cannot believe how long it's been since I've been on camera for an extended amount of time and today's video is a very overdue favourites video. It's going to be called December Favourites, however it's going to be a combination of September, October, November and December Favourites and there's quite a few of them so let's get started. First up is TV, Film and Books. My favourite TV programme currently is Westworld, it's on Sky Atlantic in the UK and do you know what? It's a weird one because we, we still have a ton of unanswered questions but it keeps you hooked. It's like a slow burn programme that just keeps you interested and I don't know how and I don't know why because you get very few answers but I'm hooked, literally hooked. It's an unusual premise, um, essentially it's in our future. Um, and essentially there is a park that's been created with very, very lifelike robots. Um, and it's got a western theme, which is a really unusual one to pick. But yeah, and then there's lots of other little bits going on. It's not, everything is not what it seems. And I think that is the key thing to remember with Westworld, is that nothing is as it, is as it seems. And I think that's what keeps you hooked, is you're like, okay, where's the next twist? Where's it going? How are they gonna take this forward? And yeah, it keeps you hooked. My favourite film from the last few months has got to be Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. My goodness, it was brilliant. I think I may almost go so far as to say I actually preferred it to the original Harry Potter films. I think it was the lack of expectations. You had no expectations, you didn't know what the story was really going to be about. You just had this premise of, it's about the author of the book that you know from Harry Potter, but that's pretty much it, and they're gonna check in Grindelwald for fun. So yeah, and do you know what, it was just amazing, it was hilarious, there was so many flickbacks to the original Harry Potter series that you could tell that they were linked, but it was its own story and it was all go from the minute it started right until the end and you were like, this was brilliant, loved it. And my favourite book from the last few months has got to be When She Was Bad by Tammy Cohen. This one right here. It was brilliant, it had tons of twists. It's interesting, the first opening chapter you don't know where it's going to go, it's essentially you don't know the character that's talking even though the name of the chapter is the character's name. Um, you're not really introduced to her, you just know that she has seen something in the news and it's bad. And then you flick straight off to an office setting and you've got this team and their boss has just been sacked. But you don't know, you don't really know why, you don't know the characters yet, they're not being properly introduced. It sort of, it just chucks you straight into the action and then they have this new boss and you're like, okay, where's this going to go? And how does this link to the first chapter? And there was, there was a, such a good twist right at the end and actually you didn't really see it coming. So it was perfect and it's a good mystery, slightly thriller. Yeah, so good. Definitely recommend that one. My favourite stationery item from the last few months, there is always something, is a desk planner that I picked up from Paper Chase to help with my new role at work. Yes, I got a new role, I got a promotion. I'm getting paid more, I've got a bit more responsibility. Daunting, but good. But yeah, so I picked up this desk planner because I was like, do you know what? I like to do things written down when I'm getting organized. I can't, I, I like, I use parts of Outlook, um, but not much. I don't really use electronic organization. So I was like, okay, get a desk planner, have everything organized day by day, have a whole month view, great. And I found an awesome one from Paper Chase and it was brilliant and I definitely recommend it. As always there is of course a favourite food item and from the last few months I have found a very strong obsession with chocolate from Lidl's which is a shop in the UK if you're not familiar with Lidl. And essentially the reason that I love Lidl chocolate is because it is soy free but it tastes amazing. It is the best chocolate but it's soy free which for me is just a godsend. I mean it's no healthier than normal chocolate, it's literally just soy free. There's no health benefits to it whatsoever but it tastes amazing and this is one of my favourite ones. It's chocolate caramel almondy. Essentially the chocolate is very similar to Lindor chocolate which I love but it's got soy in so I can't really eat it that often. Um, it also has a kinder bueno, no it's not bueno, it's a little kinder bars has a similar taste to that and then chuck in little crunchy bits of dime and you have that chocolate and you know what amazing tastes great and i just know that it's not gonna make my skin bad so happy beauty and clothes favorites i have four of them first up is the barry m fixer spray makeup fixer spray it's brilliant really cheap 
And you know what? I was like, okay, I want to try to fix this brow. Never had one before, but I'm like, do you know what? I actually sort of need one. I have that kind of skin. Uh, it's just a fact of life. And this one was not that expensive. I think it was $4.99 in boots. So actually quite cheap for a fixer spray. It's been lasting pretty well as well. I've had this for several months now and it's still not run out, which is really good. Um, and you know what? I think it, it does actually work. It keeps my makeup on just that little bit longer. Keeps it looking that little bit nicer. And so yeah, I would totally recommend this. My next two beauty ones are Makeup Revolution London buys. So first one is this one. It's their rose gold lipstick collection in the color of Chauffeur. It's essentially a pinky nude, um, and I'm quite, I quite like nude lipsticks. I don't really like in-your-face lipsticks that often. I like ones I can wear day to day without them being too outrageous. And that one's perfect because I've got a slightly orangey, peachy nude, and that one's then a pink version, so it's great. Plus, I love the fact it's rose gold, not gonna lie. Um, my next favorite is this palette by Makeup Revolution London. It's the Mermaid's Forever one. I love the fact that it's this bright blue, shiny, um, packaging on the outside but the colours inside are amazing and they are so vibrant and they work really well I think for budget makeup Makeup Revolution London is brilliant I think this palette was like eight pounds and you get I think is it 33 colours 32 32 colours um, and I'll just get them out to show you so this is inside the palette sorry for any reflections there's my camera um, but yeah this is inside the palette um, and they are so pretty, the colours. Sort of like blues, greens, purples, reds, silvers, golds. So you get a little bit of everything, which is brilliant. And the names of them are really, really cute because they're all like mermaid themes. So you've got like fishtail, treasure, um, enchant, starfish, that kind of thing. There's even an aerial one for the red. So I love the names and I love the colours. Definitely recommend it. And my clothes favourite is this pinafore from New Look. It's burgundy, which I love burgundy coloured things. It's really good for autumn. It's really comfortable, it's really easy to wear. And for me, it's actually just about smart enough with a shirt underneath for work, which is brilliant because I have to wear work clothes five days a week now. I don't actually get much chance to wear casual things. So having clothes that are adaptable for both is a godsend. And this one went, I love this one, and it was such a bargain, I think it was only like 20 pounds, so that's really good for it. Definitely recommend. And last but not least is not one, not two, but three Disney favourites, including this very snazzy, ooh, let's move around a bit, Christmas jumper with Bambi on it as Rudolph. I love it! It was from Tesco's. It was an online exclusive for Tesco, so I had to do click and collect. It was 20 quid, and I love it. I think it's the only Christmas jumper I would ever want. It's the best Christmas jumper I've ever bought, so that probably says a lot about it and how much I love it. So yeah, definitely recommend this one if you're a huge Disney fan and you want a Christmas jumper. The next Disney favourite is another Disney clothing find, this time from Primark, which is becoming my go-to when I want a Disney fix that's not that expensive, and it was these. They are Minnie Mouse tights. Can you see the image? They look like this. They're amazing. They're a little bit on the thin side, which means I can't wear them all the time because I am petrified of getting a ladder in them. But they're so cute and I was like, just every now and then, if I want just a pop of Disney with my outfit, they are there for me to wear. And then lastly is another Disney Christmas Primark buy. And they are these. Disney Christmas baubles from Primark. They were a bargain, you get six for four pounds. So these are just two of them, because they're currently on the tree, so I've just borrowed them for the purposes of this video. But yeah, they are just the cutest little baubles, and I was like, I'm gonna have to buy them, because if I don't buy them, they'll probably never come into the shops again, and I will regret it for the rest of my life if I do not own them. I'm a big kid, I'm a big Disney fan, so yeah, had to have them. They are so cute, definitely recommend. And that was my December slash September, November, October favourites. Did that in the wrong order. There you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll pop a link here to my previous video, which was Christmas themed, so you should definitely check it out now that it is actually December and it is legitimate to actually get a little bit excited about Christmas. And I will see you in the next video. See ya!